Our travels in Japan continue. We encounter cubic bread with an indulgent filling, interact with a robot dog that can tell if you're a family or stranger. Then we walk from Shibuya to Harajuku and explore Takeshita Street. Hey guys! Hello! Mommy Owen and I were looking for a place to exchange our money and we just bumped into a toast shop. The shop sells super tall toast! Maybe it's like four or five inches tall. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. It's called Pasella Resorts. Whose foods? What what? Aquarium in the back. This is the non-smoking section. They gave us a warm wet towel to wash your hands. It's chilled tea. Home size honey toast. Ooh, that almost has like an egg yolk, but it must be ice cream. So many choices. Which one do we get? The tower of onion rings. It looks like noodles on the top. They also sell eating bun. This napkin looks like it got a firm. Because it was rolled up in a cylinder, like an ice cream cone. Our appetizer has arrived. The rolls contain raw cucumber, chicken, and carrot. The clear noodles look to be kelp noodles. And right around the corner lies an orchid. <laughs> it's ornamental and edible. What does it taste like? No flavor. No flavor. Just some crunchiness. Texture-wise, like it's like having a thick spinach leaf. That's like three layers of spinach leaves. The flavor is a little uh, funny, mostly bland. It tastes like a plant. The temperature is very chilly. There is some red pepper chili in that. I put a little bit too much of it, so it's a little spicy now. The first roll had chicken, the second roll contains shrimp, and as we lift up the halved rolls, a leaf is revealed. Oh, wow, it's here! Well, hello there, blueberry, strawberry, and raspberry. The toast cube is sliced into thirds from the top, which allows us to peel bite-sized pieces off. I think I know what you're gonna say. Your face wow. is all. I love this side uh, crunchiness, but not too crunchy. Like putting your gum rich strawberry part, not too sweet. And so buttery. Oh, there's this cream. There's ice cream in the inside. Mm, there's also strawberry in it. A strawberry jam. Let's get a little bit of the ice cream. Stick it on top. It's extremely spongy. I know you could pick up a little bit like a French toast. I'm trying to figure out, do they push the inside of the bread down and then put the ice cream or do they like tear out the middle and put I the ice cream? Think, yeah, I think they carve out. You think they carve it out? There's something like crystallized in that, like bits of sugar. Mm. You know rock candy? It's got that sort of texture. Here, lots of butter. Oh, lots of butter <laughs> near the base of the bread. Ice cream. Ice cream. And whipped cream. No, whipped cream. When you eat from the core, you're like kind of playing Jenga, trying to be careful of the toppings from falling in too fast. I wonder where they get the bread. Do they make it here? Because, I mean, this is a very specific kind of bread. Oh, how delicate that is. What if there was a savory version of this and the bread is made of garlic? and then you put like pork on it, that'd be like a savory toast. Good teamwork. <laughs> it is like a fortress. Yeah, it is like a fortress. We are conquering fortress. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like the moat. Oh, they have a bar. And if you look at the ceiling, it almost looks like it was cracked. We are demolishing one by one. We're getting the corners first. It looks like the Fortress. toast is giving us the middle finger. Exterior is crispy. It's very thin as well. The butter and ice cream is all melted. You could use that as a dip. You want to say hello? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty. 
Hello. Hello, this is our waiter. You are a comedian and you want to be a comedian? <laughs> and you want to come to America? Uh, yes. And what's your name so we can find you? <laughs> Daisuke. Daisuke Hyokutaki? In retrospect, as I edit this video, I believe the closer pronunciation is Daisuke Hyakutake. Get a bill in there. Mmm, got a lot of ice cream in that one. This is a dessert of contrast. Bread is warm, but the ice cream is cold. It makes me dance. <laughs> it makes you dance. Yeah. <laughs> if you're wondering how tall this is, the toast, it is above my index finger knuckle. You know what happens when we peel off this guy? It's a fridge! <laughs> me? <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Does your mother ever tell you, don't play with your food? <laughs> you know, actually, I'm pretty stuffed because we had ramen before this. I feel warm and toasty. How about you? Yeah, yeah, I'm so full. We're gonna exchange our money. There are robot dogs. So we took off our shoes. I bought a tent. A tent. <laughs> so there's a camera on his nose. Yes. If you are how many members or stranger? Oh, it recognizes. Oh. Yes. I'm Bob. Pie face. It's literally a pie with a face on it. Right, we changed our money. We walked all the way to Harajuku Station. We're heading towards Takashita Street. I heard there's a lot of shopping in that area. Zero calorie ice cream. Looking for t-shirts as a souvenir. Oh, Totoro! Yeah! Totoro! He said like this. Totoro! I think opera stuff. So many kinds of crepes. Another crepe shop. Sushi Ninja Toilet. So, is it a restaurant or a bathroom? Or both? While you walk through the main Takahashita street, you gotta look through the alleys, the smaller streets. There's a lot of things going on there. This is the second etude house I saw on the street. And then we got Stao Nanda. Mmm, what are some these Nadia! There's a business called Last Virgin. We're gonna investigate what the Last Virgin is because on the outside, all we see is bags. Oh, I see some clothes on the side over there. Flowers for the Last Virgin. They're not taking any customers in currently. They seem to be having a opening party. We are the ones your parents warned about. Hope you guys enjoyed getting toasty with us. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're craving for more fresh pixels, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. See you in the next travel vlog. Bye-bye!